Scott Maddox, the Democratic candidate for Agriculture Commissioner. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Let's take a look at your uh, funky van. What do we call this vehicle? Uh, this is the Don't Get Mad, Get Maddox Mobile. It's gone across the state of Florida. And, and the message is, which color do you prefer our ocean? Maddox blue or Putnam black? Yeah, we got a clear choice in this race. Uh, offshore oil drilling, will, that decision will be made by the cabinet. And folks can decide if you want offshore oil drilling, Adam Putnam has been in favor of it, brokered the deal in Congress to allow it within 50 miles off the coast, has taken tens of thousands of dollars from big oil. I've been against it and was vocally against it since November of last year and warned of an impending spill. If you like your oceans blue, you need to vote Maddox. If you want them black, you should vote Putnam. What's the carbon footprint like on this bad boy? Uh, well, we, we use biodiesel and we try to, and carbon credits both, so we try to keep our carbon uh, footprint as small as possible. How are you going to beat? Uh, I think Putnam is, is clearly viewed as the front runner. He's raised uh, more than $2 million. Uh, he's a, a, a leader in Washington, or has been. How are you going to beat him? Well, money buys you a lot of things, but it don't buy you love. Uh, we've been ahead of them on every poll that's been released in this race, and we'll continue to be ahead because people are sick and tired of Washington politicians. Adam Putnam voted for the TARP bailout, but he voted against unemployment benefits and extending them. He voted for a bailout of CEOs and big banks, but yet he voted against Wall Street accountability. So I think people are tired of Washington. We have 12 percent unemployment in this state. They don't want that brand of Washington leadership here in Florida. Adam Putnam is calling you a Tallahassee lobbyist, uh, which I guess you were before you got in this race. And he's bringing up the Democratic Party, that when you were chair, there were some unpaid uh, payroll taxes and some serious issues with the party. How do you, how do you get past that? Well, I think it's laughable that a Republican would be talking about party politics. Right now, the, the Republican Speaker of the House was indicted. The Repu Republican Party chair was indicted. Uh, they have credit card scam that they were spending on jets in Las Vegas and Hollywood, California. But the bottom line is, Adam Putnam sat on the Finance Committee of the United States Congress. The Finance Committee. He gave us the worst recession since the Great Depression. He gave us a bailout for big banks, but not for everyday Floridians. Our folks are still out of work. How can you sit on the Finance Committee and be in the leadership of the United States Congress for a decade and hope to ask for a promotion here at home? I don't think so. Finally, what was the greatest rock and roll band in the history of the world? The greatest rock and roll band in the history of the world? Well, I'm a Chuck Berry fan. I'm a Jerry Lee Lewis fan. So I go from there all the way up to the Eagles uh, and, and 70s rock and Leonard Skinner. So it's a tough choice. Okay. Thanks, Scott Maddox.